Hello, welcome to a video that I call Hidden Gems. Um, as a big fan of Jack Kirby uh, over the years, it's always surprised me to run into a book that are drawn by Jack pre the Marvel age of superhero. And to my surprise, I absolutely love his work pre-Fantastic Four. In fact, I would say that his work prior to the Fantastic Four number one was really good, superior to what he did the first couple of years at Marvel, perhaps because of the workload during those early years where he was drawing so many different titles, so many pages per month, that uh, he wasn't as sharp as he could be compared to you know the later stage from the mid 60s through the late 60s where he focused more on just a few books and did a wonderful job with Joe Sinat on the Fantastic Four but here is Where Monster Dwell issue number one here's my copy just look at this this is a reprint of his work pre superhero this is where you know Marvel was doing a lot of monster. Just look at the quality of the art and the ink. So Dick Ayers did the inking for many of these uh, short story, and they are fantastic. Okay, hands down, in my opinion, the quality of the the, the drawing and the inking was superior compared to the first couple years with the Fantastic Four. Let's look at this. Really sharp. It's just wonderful. If you're a Kirby fan, I would highly recommend it because uh, these are fairly inexpensive. And here's another story. So this one have uh, a bunch of short story. They tend to be about seven pages long. Let's just look at this. Love that. Just look at this panel. Absolutely wonderful. So yes, I can't recommend enough. If you are a Kirby fan, you will not be disappointed. And let me know what you think about my comment that I think this is the quality of the, uh, the art in here is better than those of the earlier issues of Fantastic Four. Here is another book, another title that also reprinted many of the monster book pre-superhero. Here's my issue. Gorgeous copy. This book is near perfect for 1969 print book. It's newsstand fresh. Look at that. Beautiful. And once again, the inside is just fantastic. Okay. And in this issue, beside another great Jack Kirby, Dick Ayer corroboration. Just look at that. You also get an earlier story of uh, by Steve Ditko. Okay, so let me flip through that real quick. Here we go. Let's look at this. For those that uh, watch a lot of my videos, uh, you're probably aware that my first impression of Steve Ditko was not very good. But then, as I went back and looked at his uh, earlier work with Spider-Man, I liked his work. But, just like with Kirby, I found that these earlier work pre-Marvel superhero is just fantastic. They are really good. Real sharp.
Just look at that. That's what this young Steve Ditko was doing. And to be completely honest, I find that his work here is better than what he did in those earlier Spider-Man issues. This is just really good. And that's it. Um, I hope you liked the video and hopefully I can showcase more hidden gems in future videos. Thanks. Bye.